It's an issue that's been dividing the nation. Should there be a badger cull in areas where the disease is highest to prevent the spread of bovine TB in cattle? Last September, DEFRA published a 50-page consultation document recommending a cull, and the Conservatives are keen to press ahead. I feel that there is uh, TB in the badger. It is infecting the cattle. We are taking out the infected cattle. We need to cull the infected badgers. Otherwise, we're never going to get control of the disease. The farmers are going to be licensed to carry out much of the culling. Now, if they are able to locate the infected badgers, and I'm, I'm pretty sure they will cull those first. But as it stands at the moment, we can't cull just the infected badger, but we will reduce the population of badgers over a period of four years. I think we will get control of the disease in cattle. I think we will get the control of the disease in the badger, which will be better from their welfare condition. And so after that, I believe the badger population will recover and hopefully will be healthier for it. But wildlife lovers disagree. Here at Secret World in Somerset, orphaned and ill badgers are cared for and staff say a cull is not the right way to proceed. And we've had the randomised badger culling trial. Um, that went on for eight years, cost £53 million, pounds, um, killed 11,000 badgers and the conclusion was that badger culling played no part in the control of bovine TB and I just can't really understand why they're not following that science. Chairman of the Devon Badger Association, Jan Curtis, agreed. I feel for the farmer, I feel for the badgers as well. I wouldn't like to see a badger cull, I don't think it will solve the problem. We didn't solve the problem with a badger cull before. It reduced the incidence for a little while, but within a short time it was back again. But badgers are, badgers are very persecuted, have been for centuries and centuries. They're, they're our much loved British mammal, but they are the most persecuted mammal in Britain. In 2009, up to 40,000 cattle were slaughtered after testing positive for bovine TB, causing both strain and financial stress to farmers who say something needs to be done now before the problem gets worse. Well, we've got to get rid of the, the wildlife problem. I mean, it is now in deers, this TB. It could well be in other species as well as badgers and, and deer. Um, the bit I don't like is, they're telling us to kill the black and white cow, but they don't want to kill the black and white badger. Now I know a cow is worth more money than a badger. It is totally different to BSC and foot and mouth. Those, we had the tools to eradicate them and change our culture. At this point in time, we do not have the tools to control TB. That is the biggest problem we have. What I want is a targeted cull, and what I mean by a targeted cull is a countryman's way of going and checking the sets, looking at the sets, and seeing how it all works. So if that set is sick, we put the whole family group to sleep humanely. With DEFRA not due to release a statement on the future of the prevention of bovine TB until May, the debates on the rights and wrongs of the disease and how to prevent it will continue until then and well into the future. Lewis Clark for Lose News in Mid-Devon.